few of us outside the field of medicine realize what a celebrity we have in Dr. Richard Vilter. He has been a major leader in internal medicine. In the midst of all the active research in hematology. The fact that he was chosen to be the president of the American College of Physicians, over 160,000 members, shows how important many others thought his contributions were. Remarkable. Where did all these talents come from? My grandfather was a druggist. My father was a physician. My brother was a physician also. And when a very proper lady stopped to ask four-year-old Richard what he wanted to do in life. I said I was going to be a doctor. And then he scandalized his school teacher mother by adding. And I said I'm going in the labor case. Well, why the scandal? They didn't talk about things like that in those days. But his mother had to be proud when his teacher at Hughes High School decided. Well, I ought to go to Harvard. But his father wanted him to stay and go to school here. His teacher persisted. She arranged for a Harvard Club scholarship, and my father, being a good German, couldn't turn that down. While in Boston, he met and married his longtime wife, Sue, and they came home to Cincinnati. I had promised my father I would come back. But plans to enter his father's practice were not to be. He died of leukemia, unfortunately. Sorry. But that pushed me into hematology. A fortunate turn of events for his chosen field. By this time, Sue had earned a doctorate in biochemistry at UC. We went out together in the research area. And Dick Vilter wishes it known that wife Sue was his better half in research and in his life. Dick was very interested in vitamin deficiencies. After some early frustrations, which included having his and Sue's research stolen, he decided that the university needed a division of oncology and hematology. The field was so new that there were no funds. Now, do you want to know the sources? That is an interesting part of the story. We can't wait. I went to the lawyer for Newport Gamblers. He took me to Beverly Hills to meet the Bob. You mean the mom? Well, this was uh, sleep out Louis Levinson in that group. Days after he made his pitch, he was summoned at midnight and an envelope was furtively passed to him. It contained a thousand dollars in five, ten, and twenty dollar bills. And I took it to the dean's office the next morning. Wasn't he suspicious? He never asked where I got it. And that's how the Medical College's Division of Oncology Hematology got its start. One of the first in the country with the help of the mob, the Newport Gamblers. What the doctor isn't telling is that he and his wife also put up their life savings and were later able to get funding from traditional sources. He's very tenacious in pursuit of a goal. Yeah, shows. Uh, how short he was in picking up the trends and the needs in medicine. And the university recognized a leader. I became head here in uh, internal medicine. And as such, he was able to continue his research, and he continued to teach. A great teacher. A brilliant teacher. He taught us the proper way to practice medicine. He was a role model in every regard. He was interested in the students. Very committed to seeing others succeed. And as a teacher, Dr. Vilter has trained a significant portion of today's practicing physicians in the tri-state area. And as an administrator, he did a marvelous job of building a department of internal medicine he developed donors, keeping the Department of Medicine going and keeping it expanding. Dr. Vilter has served the U.S. Surgeon General and the U.N. World Health Organization and other causes, traveling the world on their behalf. But he's never forgotten his original calling. He does a wonderful job of working with patients. He's tough in a very kindly way. He's just so compassionate and competent. He can explain something and everyday language. He's just a good doc. I mean, you know, he really is. With a huge dose of common, good common sense. He's my doctor hero. As busy as he is, does he have other pursuits? He has quite a hobby, uh, which is history uh, of this area. He's a voracious reader. He's a great fisherman. Also a gardener and simply adores his family. He has written about the original founders of medical school and medicine. We're not going to try to recount the multitude of accomplishments that Dr. Vilter has achieved. We leave the recognition to those who can best judge. Dick is kind of the ultimate internist, a giant in internal medicine. We have this term in medicine, somebody being a, a triple 
PrEP. They really know their medicine, their tremendous leadership abilities, and they are extremely good with patients. I try to teach the importance of the doctor-patient relationship, that everything is not financial. There is a bond that should develop, which is as important as the medications. I hope that I get that across. I believe I do. And we do too, Doctor. Ladies and gentlemen, a great humanitarian, and now a great living Cincinnatian, Dr. Richard W. Dick Vilger. <laughs>